Hey, what's up, guys? Um, here to bring you some quick new videos. Um, I've been working on a lot of tough matchups with Ryu lately, so um, I'll try. I'm mostly just gonna be focusing on those if I do make videos. But uh, yeah, um, I just played this two out of three with this Dawson player um, just for some practice. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to run through these three matches. They're sort of long, but um, I guess they sort of uh, sort of demonstrate what I need to do like consistently if I want to win this matchup. And that is basically like once you get a knockdown, you have to convert that knockdown into at least like 40, 50 percent every time you get a knockdown. It's pretty tough, and it's mostly just guessing like what the other guy is capable of doing. Here's the first match. Um, but yeah, it's mostly like at this at this longer range, it's mainly just about being patient, blocking, and like trying to guess like on a way you can get in. And mostly just empty jumping in to try and gain space. And once you empty jump in, you're probably gonna be doing a lot of blocking because like of all the limbs he's gonna throw at you. But yeah, that's where you have to sort of gauge like what he's trying to do. As you can see, I haven't even touched him yet, and I'm already at like 30%. Okay, so here's where the knockdown starts. Oh, but he did, he, this guy I like to do EX up flames a lot for the trade, and you'll see how I kind of exploit that later on in the next upcoming videos. Alright, so now I get the knockdown, so now I have to do damage and keep him on the ground. And you'll see I'm going for those untackable knockdowns. That's so that I can recreate, like, all of those um, jump-ins I'm doing are um, option select Tatsus. Like, I put option select Tatsus into those inputs. So if he tries to teleport or backdash, I'll catch it. And if he ends up getting hit, I just try and convert it into another untouchable knockdown because I want to try and keep him on the ground as much as possible. And it actually builds a lot of stun. You'll see after, like, two or three mix-ups, he's already dizzy. And I came back from being... It came back from basically him perfect, almost perfecting me to me killing him because of just those, like once I got that one knockdown, I converted it into two or three. So if you can convert one knockdown or into two or three more, there's probably a good chance you can win the round, but it's pretty hard against him because of a couple factors like his grab range, um, whether he has his ultra or super, um, which ultra he's using, and factors like that like um, if he's expecting you to do certain patterns and stuff like that and you'll see um, like sometimes on knockdown if I'm at range like if I notice a pattern with the sim if he likes to teleport or backdash like just to gain more space when he gets knocked down from afar I'll just Tatsu and try and catch him but yeah at long range it's a lot of me just being random like trying DPs trying to focus my way in and stuff I could have DP'd that, but all right. So I got the knockdown here. He blocked it though, and now that, that's the tough part. Like you can't really keep up strings on him because of his back short. So when you get in, if he blocks your, like if he blocks your mix up when you knock him down, like you're, it's pretty tough because his buttons just like you can't really do anything about back short, um, or back forward or any of that stuff because it's just too fast. Like you can't really whip punish it or counter hit it consistently and even though I have the lead here pretty much he's won because he's at the distance that he needs to be like at that distance it's gonna be extremely hard for me to take off that small percentage of health he has especially when he has ultra that was a good block by me I didn't think that I'd be able to block that but he got me with the um the fierce at the end there hopefully I have I think I have time for these videos. Let's see, just trying to force my way in. Okay, I got the DP, so I'm gonna. Oh, I should have held on to that. But yeah, basically, whenever I get like a DP or EX, I just try and gain space, like push him towards the corner. Because if you can get him in the corner, then you can actually make up all the damage you've lost. This is, I'm sure you've probably heard this, whoever's watching this video has probably heard it before, but the Dalsim matchup um, for Ryu and probably for a lot of characters, it's not 
it's not even about like how much it, the amount of health that each player has is pretty irrelevant it's mostly just about where they are on the screen so like it doesn't matter if I have like 10% or like and he has a hundred percent as long as like I can get him in the corner or if I can knock him down consistently then I can win the match regardless of how much health I have left so you're gonna be taking all this damage trying to get in that one time and when you ha get in that one time you just have to make it count and I have fucked up there I I wanted solar plexus but I didn't get it so that's gonna cost me that was probably my one chance for the round okay I got another knockdown here oh but he did up flames up flame trade I don't think I'm timing that correctly um you might be able to you might be able to do that jump-ins, meaty jump-ins on Jolson without the up-flame training, but it's really hard to time. Up-flame comes out pretty fast. Not only that, but I don't know if Dolson's get-up wake-up time is any different than other characters, whether he wakes up later or something. Oh, uh, yeah. I, this guy was pretty good about not pressing limbs when he was jumping in, so it was hard to like get any random uppercuts on him. But yeah, that's that's kind of an intermediate sim thing. Only like scrubby sims always press jump fierce when they jump in at you. And yeah, I just kind of fucked up there. But you'll see um, as we go into these later games, that usage of up flame that he does. Since I saw he relied so much on up flames, I kind of like, it, uh, since he relied so much on up flames and he wasn't really doing anything else on wake up I knew that he wasn't really gonna backdash he never backdash and he never did teleports on wake up well he did it rarely he would teleport um, on wake ups so instead of doing um, meaty jump ins I just go empty jumps when I got the knockdowns oh yeah you'll see me trying to get in again getting smacked Uh, there was a nice read on Tatsu, but I couldn't follow it up. He did short on wake up. I tried to throw it, but I don't think I don't know. It didn't work or something. Yeah, now I can't get anything going this round. <laughs> the, yeah, and the other thing is the reason why this matchup is so hard is because Sim has a tool to basically react to whatever you do even if he's committed to another option because his limbs are so fast so he can press like that button right there and even if I jump in on it he still has time to like do like his back strong or like back roundhouse or whatever so even if you do catch him pressing a button like he still has time to react and like recover so it's really hard to like punish him for committing to certain buttons and you'll see there, he, like he pressed like back forward there or whatever, and I jumped in, but he still had time to backdash. And yeah, here, here I go, um, exposing like the fact that he just doesn't want to do teleports or anything. So I just basically just did empty jumps there. Try to read a toss there, I didn't get it. Well, I know I could have blown super, but I don't think I really wanted to use it there. It's a really bad position. Okay, I got the DP, so I made it a little bit out of the corner. That reminds me. Um, one thing that I'm not really doing against Dalsim that I see a lot of good Ryu players do is um, uh, I fucked up there. I should have gone for sweep, but I didn't think he was gonna be crouching. Uh, one thing I, that good Ryu players do is if they they can react to uh, his um, fireballs uh, he did a teleport there um, they can react to his fireballs by doing um, early jump Tatsu the Tatsu that goes full screen and it hits on the second hit I can't get the timing down for it I, I've been trying to practice it there I try to do low f or low, str or low fear super but I didn't get it which is kinda good because 
I still won the round and I kept three bars and I'm working on the fourth bar so I should have that so I think I get that going into the next round but yeah that's one thing that I need to utilize that sort of makes this matchup a little easier because if you guess a tots if you guess a fireball you can get in with Tatsu knock him down and push him towards the corner which all three of those things are definitely things you want to do in this matchup I kind of fucked up there but nice block that super so yeah that me not blowing the meter in that second round paid off there I should have just uppercutted it. no actually I shouldn't have uppercutted him there he's gonna go for a mix up but he he fucked it up he did it too late or I'm not sure how that mix up supposed to go I think you have to like back up a little bit before you do that cause the fireball was already past me when I uppercutted alright last one real quick <clears throat> Try to I I don't think I could have punched that if I held it. It's really hard to punish like you got to like release it just as I will try to grab that. Yeah, that's the situation where that Tatsu would have helped, I think. Alright, now I need to start mix ups. Pushing him toward a corner. Got lucky that he didn't tech that. Nice knockdown. Yeah, see, he's like probably trying to up flame here, but he's not getting it. And I'm just punishing him with empty jump lows, and he doesn't really know how to block that. Granted, against, like, decent sims, they're going to eventually catch on. I don't know why this guy didn't catch on. I was just going low every time. Just trying to keep him mid-screen, trying not to get pushed to the corner. Trying to catch him off guard with empty jumps. Uh, I didn't mean to hold that the whole time. trying to guess something, try and push him into the corner. I should have just jumped in empty there on that back roundhouse. Super. Empty jump low. Ah, uh, he grabbed it. I did, if you see my inputs there, I did the, um, when I did the low short, I did a throw, like I did a throw tech, so it should have option selected me to tech that throw. I don't know why I didn't. That's, that's really dumb. I don't know. Like I, even when I option select throw tech, low short, I still get grabbed probably have to do it later or something but I pressed it twice so I don't know what the deal is with that yeah at this point this round is I'm gonna need kind of a miracle to do something here I'm gonna need to like he's gonna have to make a mistake it's basically his round to lose at this point There I tried the Tatsu, that's the Tatsu I was trying, but like I messed up the timing of it, so I didn't hit him. I could have hit him if I did it correctly. Uh, I, I was thinking about uppercutting, I shouldn't have blown the meter there. I got lucky there. He pressed the wrong button. Got lucky there again with the uppercut. This time he's smart and he just blocks. I thought he was gonna go for, try and go for like a crazy mix up again, but he didn't. That's kind of risky thing that I'm doing in these matches too. Is like when he teleports, I'm doing crouch jab. You want to do stand jab, so at least you're not getting hit by the um, overhead that they're most likely going for. <laughs> His buttons are so good. Nice, I uppercut that one. There, I hit it. I hit it correctly there. Got lucky. Um, I tried to get go for it again, get greedy, but I didn't get it.
Oh, I want. Uh, yeah, I want to save the super. And he actually like didn't block there for some reason. Went through the super there with the Tatsu. I didn't know that was gonna work, but I figured whatever he was gonna try, I was gonna at least tr chip him or trade him or something. But anyway, that's that's um that for Dawson. Maybe I'll do other videos, but mostly right now I'm just practicing, so I'm not trying to make too many videos. Um, but yeah, this will just be something. So until next time.